Halite. Through dark alchemy, the ancient folk of Niflheim heaved themselves out of the mist. But as they mined its many properties, the frost giants watched their great work, devoured by a hungry world. So the ancient council, eldest and wisest of the frost giants, summoned a champion to journey forth to Asgard. And with great honor, the ill-made giant, hero of the warrior class, sought arms from the gods. She tried to negotiate, but the high and mighty gods barked at Niflheim's plea. No Jotun would be welcome to the Inangard. With the last of their might, the gods expelled the emissary and shattered the Bifrost behind her, leaving Niflheim to rot and decay away from the other worlds of Yggdrasil. Beaten and bloody, the champion fell, fell, fell into a world of chaos. And seeking a scapegoat, the frost giants turned their cold hearts on her. They forsook the betrayer and spirited her away to a cold cell of Niflhel, where she could rot for a thousand years. Gunhildr, the savior of Niflheim. Ah, Gunhilda, we haven't met, but I've admired you from a distance, even after the Prime started calling you. <laughs> Traitor. I don't believe that for an instant. I'm here to break you out. I'm no warrior like yourself, but I can offer support. You might have heard of me. I'm called the Halite Monger. You can call me <laughs> Lucky. I guess I'm not that well known out here. I'll have to fix that. Odin's name! Vel, lucky you've got that shield generator. It absorbed the full force of that explosion. Usually you'd need Halite to recharge the shield, but while I'm in here, I may as well give you a bit of a supercharge. There, that should keep your shields charging on their own for a while. But you'll need some halite of your own once it wears off. Your shield can absorb any hit as long as there's still any shield power left. But if your shield isn't there, even the weakest weapon can take you down. Security is still active, but you can get through that one on your own. I've restored your dash ability. You can activate your jets for a quick burst of speed in the direction you're moving. I knew you could do it. Let's keep going. You can use that dash to go faster, but it needs a bit to recharge. I can reduce the recharge time once you get out of here. They tucked you in the farthest corner they could, all right. Let me try something. There, I've managed to unlock your suit's jetpack. Try using it to leap over that vault. I'm glad that worked. Last time I crossed a couple of wires, and... Well, <laughs> never mind. No one needs to worry about... You won't be able to get through that barrier with your bare hands. Luckily, I managed to smuggle a little something into the side room here. That's an Orinum. It's a little worn down, but it's the best I could do. Back to the barrier. Its cooling system is badly damaged, but if you manually cool it enough, it should kick back on. Your suit's jet can leach heat from your weapon to use as power, 
Uh, so dash and air jump to cool it down. You'll probably have to do quite a few maneuvers to fix the cooling system. Nice, it worked. It should be able to cool down on its own now. But you should still use your jets to prevent overheating in combat. Time to wreak havoc. You've got to tear out that core with your melee attack. I need to make sure you're operating at peak, Gunhilda. He didn't hear any of that? Well, he's very graciously exposed his armor's power core to you. One hit to that, and he'll be powerless for a moment. I fixed the reponder function in your suit. Once he's stunned, rush in and rip out the core with... Delicious. At least, that's what your suit's thinking. like pushovers. You should be able to handle them easily. Let me patch you up a bit. This hurts me more than it hurts you, you know. Seriously, stop getting hit. Use your jetpack maneuvers. Dash and jump. Bob and weave. Serpentine! A passive augment. Lucky you, Gunhilda. That will... Well, <laughs> you can read for yourself. You can always bring up a list of your augments in your system menu, under Codex. Hey, look over there. They've got their back to you. We can't let them sound an alarm. I wonder how deep that is. It looks like the bridge is out, but you can definitely make that jump. Whoa! That might have stopped you if your suit powers were disabled, but I wouldn't bet any halite on it. You're bound to hit some real resistance eventually, and that pea shooter just isn't going to get it. Luckily, our escape route takes us through the armory. Hang right. It's a vase in. A good time for a little talk, don't you think? I've always wondered, why did Asgard sunder the Bifrost? You were just supposed to ask them for help, not piss them wickedly off. The Prime said they had the perfect plan to save Niflheim. Asa seemed pretty confident. Anu was reserved as always. But anything Alvis gets behind is <laughs> practically guaranteed to work. So why do the gods cut us off from the other worlds? You didn't. You didn't deviate from the Prime's plan, did you? <laughs> Gunhilda, did you change the Prime's plan? I wonder if you're just being silent to be difficult, or if you just don't trust yourself to be able to lie to me. <laughs> <laughs> 